I'm Bob Fulberg. I am the founding dean of the Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine. It's one of those medical schools that has a long name. So for the rest of this proceedings, it will be known as OUWB. So welcome to OUWB and our fifth white coat ceremony. To some extent, it is something to celebrate. So that's totally appropriate. I must tell you that to some extent, this white coat ceremony is a mirror image of commencement. Uh, we had our first graduation here, it seems like only a couple of weeks ago, back in May. And the similarities are stark. Here you're going to receive a garment, your white coat, a symbol of physicianship, and you will make a commitment to the study of medicine by taking an oath. In a commencement, you'll receive your hood, your academic title as doctor of medicine, and once again, you'll make a commitment. The difference is at commencement, the oath that you recite will be written by your class. It'll be written by you with the help from Professor Wasserman and De Beers. So we're looking forward to seeing what you are able to accomplish over the course of, of, of this time. Many families are here to celebrate, and we are grateful for your participation. We do know that there are a number of students here whose families could not make it for this ceremony. And even though we are streaming this live and it will be recorded and available for download, it's just not the same if your family's not here. But if you're in that situation, may I invite you to consider all of OUWB for today to be your family. There are many people here whom we need to recognize for their contributions to OUWB and this event. Uh, gratitude is a key value at OUWB. And before I start, I would really like to thank everyone at Meadowbrook Hall for hosting this event. Uh, if you're not from the area, and most of you actually are not, please take the time to explore the grounds and consider coming back and visiting Meadowbrook in depth. And we thank the university for that. I'd like to thank the staff of OUWB for helping to stage this event. Many names. I'm going to give a specific shout out to Colleen Arnett in the Center for Medical Student Services for helping to organize this orientation week and this particular event, and everyone who worked with Colleen. I'd like to recognize today some of the people who make OUWB work for us. And at this time, briefly, if you are a member of the faculty, staff, in any way connected to OUWB except for students, may I ask you to rise and be acknowledged. Thank you. With us today representing the university is George W. Hine, president of Oakland University. Representing Beaumont Health, Dr. David Wood is chief medical officer. Representing the board of Beaumont, Mr. Steve Howard. We also have another distinguished guest here that I'm going to give a special shout out to, and that is Dr. Ralph Margulis, who is one of the older members of our faculty at 93 years old, still active in teaching medical students. Ralph is an inspiration to us all. Before we go on, I mentioned gratitude as being a core value, and I'd like to invite Mr. Mike Herbert up uh, to join me here. Um, we're going to give a special thanks to Mike in his role of being the Assistant Dean for Clinical Affairs for this school. I've been in academic medicine for quite some time, longer than I'd like to admit publicly, and I will tell you that there are only a handful of people in the United States with a level of expertise in faculty affairs, when they relate to the clinical setting, practice management, and how that intersects with the teaching mission. Mike has worked with Wayne State University, the University of Michigan, what is now called Georgia Regents University, formerly called Medical College of Georgia. And it's Mike who really helps us in a critical moment of our development to set up for us how the clinical faculty articulate with the School of Medicine. Now sadly, Mark is separating from Beaumont and leaving OUWB. But we reserve something very special for a handful. The only person who has received this honor before was Ananias S. D. Okno, the former chief medical officer. And we are presenting Mike with a special OUWB chair, which has an inscription on the back, in gratitude for exceptional commitment and service to OUWB. Please join me in thanking for our appreciation, sending our appreciation to Mr. Mike Herbert. 